Welcome to Imagination Station's Stay at Home Science. Today, we are going to be exploring dimensions with shapes. Let's get started. For this activity, you'll need scissors, tape or glue, markers, and you'll also need to download and print out these 3D shape templates. These templates are two-dimensional, meaning they have length and width, but no height. Shapes such as circles, triangles, squares, pentagons, and so on are all two-dimensional. Take a look at these templates. This cube template is made up of six squares that make a geometry net or a flattened 3D object. If we fold this geometry net in just the right way, we can transform this 2D paper into a 3D object. Start by cutting out the geometry net along the outermost solid line. Next, carefully make a crease along each of the dotted lines. You can now see a 3D solid beginning to take shape. Use tape or glue on the tabs to help hold your cube hold its shape. A 3D solid adds a third dimension, like height. Many 3D shapes have faces that are made of 2D shapes. This cube, for example, is created with six square faces, while this pyramid has a square base and four triangular faces. We also get two more features when we create a 3D solid. What was once the side of a 2D shape now becomes an edge where two faces meet. And what was once the corner of a 2D shape now becomes a vertex or a single point where three or more faces meet. So not only does this cube have six square faces, it also has 12 edges and eight vertices. Now that you know a bit more about dimension, I have a few challenges for you. First, check out more of these geometry nets to see what other 3D shapes you can make, like an octahedron or a tetrahedron. Next, go on a shape hunt. See if you can find all of the different 2D shapes and 3D objects that make up things all around you, like the rectangles on a refrigerator or the circles in a glass of water. Finally, there's not just one geometry net that can make up a shape. Your challenge is to see if you can find all 11 geometry nets that can make a cube. Be sure to share a photo of your geometry nets and shapes to Imagination Station's Facebook page. And if you like these activities and are interested in more stay-at-home science, visit ImaginationStationToledo.org. Visit us at ImaginationStationToledo.org.